Hey Simon, this is uh, this is Peter. So uh, <clears throat> here's our original sketch, and let me just reconstruct what we did. We uh, we created a new sketch, and I've actually I have uh, sketch grid turned off because I find it rather annoying sometimes. So in this case, we just simply wanted to uh, project some stuff. Project to surface. Pick a surface, and it's already configured to project along, the, along a vector. That vector is normal to this plane that we're um, that, to the sketch plane that we're sketching on. All right. So we have our one sketch, and I said it might behave better if we create that second profile uh, on this surface in a second sketch. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Okay, and if we now change the dimensions, we're hoping that all that updates, but as you can see, still only one of the sketches updates. And it's always the one here on the bottom. I'm not sure why that is, um, but I'll have to ask that in the form. Some of that, that looks like a bug to me, uh, because they should actually both be updating. But um, never mind, there's actually a much easier way to achieve what we want to do. Let me delete these sketches. Um, we can just simply take a uh, solid instead of a cut we just pull this all the way through here and we create a new body and then we use modify combine and that is this is the target body this is the tool body using an intersect and we are going to keep the tool or tools. So that provides us with two extra bodies, that one and this one. That one we don't need, so we just remove it. So our tool body is still the original body, so we don't have this cut out. But we can do that same thing again by using the combine operation again. This time, this is the target body. This is the tool body, and again, in this case, we say cut, but we're going to keep the tool again. So now we have this body and this body. Oops. So what you can do now, if you want this surface to uh, protrude 0.2 millimeters, you just use press pull and pull it out by 0.2 millimeters. And there you go. So I, I hope that that helps. Uh, I'll talk to you on Monday.